When you receive your sure steps, they should look very much like this right here and they should be ready to go on the foot. You'll want to open them up and in order to get them on the foot correctly, you just stretch them open and bring them around behind the foot and drop the foot into them. At this point, we want to dorsiflex and supinate the foot and this is an important step to get the heel seated correctly. The next thing you're going to want to do is tighten it up around the foot and you very simply take the distal strap pull it through the chafe and loop, we want to go ahead and make it tight. And this is not snug, but it's actually very tight. In tightening this, we're going to create the compression. The pressure is distributed evenly around the foot, so this is not an uncomfortable thing for the child. The next step that you want to do is you want to mark your, your dorsum wings to make sure that the dorsum wings are not too close together. When we get to within an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, we often will get some pinching. And so I'd like to normally see about three-eighths of an inch between the dorsum wings on smaller children, up to about a half inch on larger children. And simply by putting a couple little marks on there, you'll know where to trim them. Next, we're going to check our trim lines. In Kyle's case, we can see that it's impinging on the proximal aspect of the metatarsal head. So you can simply mark where you want to trim the orthosis back to ensure that it is behind the metatarsal head and not going to impinge on the proximal aspect of that metatarsal head. Next we're going to look at the lateral trim line. And the best way to check that trim line is to dorsiflex the fifth toe. In Kyle's case, this is a little bit long and we'll need to trim it back. Again, simply mark the orthosis where you want to trim. After drawing your final trim lines, simply trim the excess plastic away using a sharp pair of bandage scissors. After trimming away the excess plastic, using a buffer or troutman to buff the edges will certainly make it a much more comfortable fit for the child. We also have to replace the slight flare that we've taken off of the medial and lateral distal trim lines. And you simply put the heat onto the edge of the plastic for about one second, and you can use your thumb then to push your flare back in. We need to check our trim lines to ensure that they did get trimmed back correctly. We're going to check the lateral trim line to ensure that the fifth toe can freely dorsiflex and it's not going to restrict its movement. And on the medial side that the first metatarsal is completely free and that the trim line is in soft tissue. The last thing we need to do is to mark the straps and cut them. We'll mark the straps where they come through the chafe and loop just to make sure they get put on to the correct tension every day. The last thing we need to do, finally, is cut the excess strap off. This will help the sure step get into a shoe a little easier and help parents to make sure again that they're getting them to the proper tension. After the sure steps are properly fit, we want to make sure that the footwear will go over them without a lot of problem for parents. Uh, the best way to do that is to slip the foot into the shoe and do a twisting motion to slide the orthosis into the shoe. Generally, children shouldn't need to go up to a bigger size as long as they have a shoe that has a nice flat planter surface and a broad rounded toe box. With that, Kyle's sure steps are all fit. His shoes fit well. He's all set and ready to go. How about you, are you ready to go? You've been a big help today. Can you give me a high five? Can you pound it? All right, you're all set. You're good to go.